Guys, in today's video, I want to go over the five best solo drop spots in Chapter 5 Season 3. This season just dropped, and there's going to be plenty of new additions to the season. There's going to be plenty of changes to the weapons, the loot pool, the map, pretty much everything. I want you guys to understand exactly what the five best solo drop spots are for you guys in this new biome. Obviously, if you guys want to see previous season solo drop spots in different other biomes that are still on the map, please consider checking out my last seasons and the season before that drop spot video. Those two should help you out as well, but be sure to stay till the end of this video and let's get right into it. All right, guys, so I'm flying into the first place. This is going to be Primo Pumps. As you guys can see right here, it's basically a gas station. There's going to be some floor loot on the roof that you guys can get here, and then you can obviously hop down and start looting all these chests around the gas station area you obviously there's going to be you know multiple different things around the area obviously no cars are competitive but this is just for the video of course there's going to be this upside down car you can farm from metal right here this is going to give you around 40 metal sometimes 30 you can also farm this it's going to give you a chest right there and also you guys can generally just go around the area there's going to be that little tower that'll go to in a second but there's tons of things in this room that give you a lot of metal so if you guys want metal really quickly just farm a lot of the things in this room you can get tons of materials for all these things you can get wood metal a lot of things really this thing gives you around you know five metal a ball of these things are going to be really helpful if you guys need metal so once you're done farming all of that that you can get the safe there's not always going to be safe here the spawn rate isn't actually 100 percent get some gold if you guys need it you guys can rotate over to this there's going to be one of these modded weapon crates they're not actually useful in competitive game modes but they are here right here if you guys want to use them in pubs or other game modes and then what you guys can do is you guys can go up to the second floor of this gas station that's why it's so much better is because there is actually a second floor area that you can go up to the tower with and go up and then you can farm these walls for metal as well and then if you guys really want to you can go up here all the way and then you can make your way over to this tower where there is a little bit more floor loot for me this is just a you know smg right here and then what you guys can also do this is the main thing for this poi you can farm tons of metal from this tower right here the really good part about this tiny little POI is the amount of metal that's here. There's so much metal, you can max out pretty much instantly, and it's actually really going to be very beneficial for you guys throughout these games. You guys can obviously farm wood and stuff from the trees around the area, and then obviously you guys can farm bricks from the area as well. There's going to be brick walls right here that you guys can farm. And then of course, guys, there is going to be the little shield plant over here. This thing's really valuable, you can get some free shield from it. But that's pretty much all the features of this POI. So guys, we're now coming in to the second drop spot. This is going to be called the Wreck Mill. In this drop spot, I like to land in this little windmill area because it's actually going to be pretty high loot density. I like to go up to the top. There's a chest. I'm going to grab that. Then I'm obviously going to drop down to the bottom, guys. There's going to be some floor loot and another chest that you guys can loot right here. What I'd recommend you guys do, save these slurp barrels for later. You can come back for them. If you're contested, obviously pop them, but I'm going to come back to them. There's some floor loot out here you guys can obviously get, and I'd recommend you rotate over to the main building. Once you're at the main building, there's this chest right here you guys can easily loot. And then, of course, you guys can actually go into the actual house and loot there as well. There's going to be plenty of chests. There's going to be floor loot under here. There's going to be ammo boxes, a lot of stuff you guys can loot. And then you can actually go under this little ledge, and you can get the chest that's inside of the house. You can loot here. Obviously, it's going to give you weapons some other stuff. And then you can keep making your way around. There's going to be a chest up here as well. That's the main thing I like about this POI, the high loot density in such a small area. And then, guys, finally, once I'm done looting the actual full POI, then I will pop my big pot, and then I'll start getting all my health and shield up. Another really good thing about this POI comparable to the last one, there's gotta be a good amount of metal. There's some walls right here you guys can farm. There's these little beams. There's a bunch of stuff down here. And then also there's a whole downstairs area where you guys can get two chests. And then pretty much guys, after that, I would just be farming. I'd be farming all this metal. I'd be farming as much brick as I can from all these walls right here, from this little place right here as well. And then of course, if you guys still need the slurp barrels at that point, you can obviously come here, pop them. And if you don't actually need them, you can still farm them for metal. Another huge thing is to farm all these trees around the area for wood as well, and these big bricks for brick as well. The biggest thing about this new biome that I've noticed is the simple fact that there's gonna be tons of materials here. So this POI is no exception. I definitely recommend you guys practice it just like that. Now guys, this next place that I'm headed into is known as the Megalo Depot. The first place I'd land is some variety of elevation. Ideally, there's gonna be a floor spawn right here, but of course I just got minis. Then what you guys can do is easily drop down. You can rotate around here, get more floor spawns, ammo boxes, whatever it may be. Once you have all that stuff, guys, you guys should pretty much rotate in any direction where you can get a chest. Sometimes it's gonna be right here near this bulldozer. I'd stop here, get all this loot. Floor spawns right here as well. And then immediately what I'd do is I'd either, is I'd pop the shield that I have, I'd pop it all right here. So I'm gonna pop it right here. And then what you guys can do is you can easily rotate around the POI getting a lot of chests. This POI has tons of chests considering how small it is. I'm gonna rotate throughout all of the buildings, get all these chests, all these floor spawns. As you guys can see, I'm gonna get pretty decent loot considering how many chests there actually are. There's gonna be a good amount of floor spawns around the area as well. Like I said, tons of chests, so you guys get tons of loot. 
And also, like I said before, tons of metal in this POI. There's beams that you guys can farm. There's these little kind of canisters. Once again, all the walls. There's going to be tons of brick as well, as you guys can see. There's going to be various areas around the POI with brick, like over there, over there. You guys can go anywhere really around the area, farm brick and wood pretty seamlessly. Some of the chests are a bit tough to get to, such as this one right here. This one's a little bit on elevation, so it's a little tough to get to. However, if you guys learn how to play the elevation on this POI correctly, it's definitely going to serve you very well, and you guys are going to get very good loot very quickly. Another big benefit is that off to the left side of the POI there, what you guys can easily do is go over there and you can easily use that plant to get a lot of shield. That's going to be the new shield plant. There's one right here as well. What you guys have to do is just go up to it, pickaxe it, and then explode and gives you shield. And once again, you can farm brick everywhere. There's a reboot van. Really big benefits here of generally landing at this POI. And then once you guys are done with that, I genuinely recommend you guys rotate up towards that antenna and that cell phone tower right there. If you guys are able to rotate there, that's going to give you elevation. It's going to give you a good position to rotate out throughout the next and rest of the zones. Now, guys, where I'm showing you next is on the bottom right edge of the map. You guys can easily fly in there and you can land here. And there's going to be tons of loot and this is in my opinion one of the best POIs that isn't named on the entire map. This is going to be called Lil Dirty Dock and I'm landing here there's going to be tons of floor spawns as you guys can see right off the rip. I can already see at least five. What I'm just going to try to do is rotate throughout the POI. There's a lot of slurp barrels and other attributes here. I'm going to use all of those to max out on shield so that means I can save all of the shield that I get. I'm just going to keep rotating throughout though. There's going to be tons of ammo boxes, chests everywhere. A lot of big benefits of this POI, I'm going to get really good loot really quickly. Like I said, slurp barrels are everywhere, such as in these crates. This is going to allow you to max out on shield very quickly and without wasting too many resources, and while also getting metal. You guys can also obviously pop a nitro splash to loot really quickly. And like I said, tons of chests everywhere, good amount of mats. As you guys can see, there's going to be plenty of crates for metal if you guys want to farm those as well. There's going to be plenty of other options for brick and wood as well. You guys can farm these floors afterwards, they give you a good amount. There's obviously going to be trees, bricks all over the area. Overall, a really good amount of loot here, and a big benefit of this POI, if you guys are going to be landing here, is going to be the ability to fish. Fishing is a really important aspect. And if you guys want to fish, you can hop over near this coast area. You can get a fishing rod and you can obviously use it to fish. And of course, guys, if those slurp barrels weren't enough for you, there is a full slurp truck right here you guys can obviously use. My recommendation would be to land here if possible and then pop the slurp barrel and then continue on looting the area. However, this might be one of the more contested POIs on this list. So in general, you guys need to make sure that you're landing here very effectively and very intelligently. There's obviously going to be a chest near this crane area. You guys can get that. And truthfully, the loot here is some of the best in the game for an unnamed POI. This new bio in my opinion provides a lot of really good material advantage and if you guys focus on landing here correctly you're definitely going to know how to have a really good early game situation with loot and overall health and shield there's more slurp barrels right here so you can easily max out on slurp barrels in this whole poi tons of floor spawns tons of chests tons of loot overall you guys should be pretty set if you do land here and you guys know how I like to finish off these videos with a named POI. And as you can see, we are here landing at Brutal Beachhead. In my opinion, this is one of the best named POIs, not only because it has a mythic boss, but also because of the amount of loot and how easy it is to actually loot this POI. What you're going to do, guys, is I'd recommend you land at the hull of the ship. Obviously, there's going to be plenty of things up here. There's going to be slurp barrels you guys can get shield from. You guys can get minis, you can get all the floor spawns. And from there, it's pretty easy to rotate throughout the entire POI. This kind of reminds me of the rig from chapter two, season two, if you guys remember that. It's gonna be similar layout kind of with these building structures. And there's no way I have time to show you every single chest in this POI, but generally this is one of the most efficient and loot dense POIs I've ever seen. You guys can get a lot of loot very quickly, especially from those bottom areas, but on the ship itself too, you can get a fair amount of loot. Another big benefit of this POI, like I said, is the mythic boss. You guys can obviously kill the mythic boss here for his mythic shotgun and his mythic hands which are going to be giving you a really good benefit and weapon edge onto the opponents also he's going to be having a medallion i actually need to try and find him so i can eliminate you for you guys where you're going to find him is below the surface of the ship you guys can go down into the lower deck areas and hopefully there you can actually find this boss and eliminate him the boss doesn't actually always spawn here sometimes it's just sort of its henchmen the boss can spawn in various areas around the map for this game the boss does not spawn here but essentially what you guys can do is eliminate him get his medallion as well and with his medallion obviously if you're not playing competitive game modes you guys can rotate over to this area where it's going to be having a scanner in which you can actually use his card to get a really really well modded car you can go over here to this little area and what you guys can do is open this place and then use his car that's the big benefit of brutal beachhead it's going to be having tons of loot obviously tons of mats as you guys can see big ship big everything really tons of stuff it's a name poi so it will be a little bit more contested but in general that's why i'd recommend you guys do land here as your final 
boss POI for sort of this season because there's going to be a lot of people landing here. And if you're a really good player and you know how to play it, I think it's really worth it if you guys can pull it off. Anyways, guys, that is the video on the top five best solo drop spots in general. I think that if you guys follow all these places, you can find your solo drop. You guys can learn how to play it. And I really want to know if you guys enjoy this new format of drop spot video where I actually go into the POI and I land there properly. Please let me know in the comments down below. But that is about it for this video, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe for the channel and stay tuned for the duo drop spots video coming really soon. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.